Today we're going to explore the St. Francis Dam ruins. The St. Francis Dam collapsed after being filled for the first time three minutes to midnight on March the 12th, 1928. 450 people died as a result of the flood that poured through San Francisco Canyon on a 54 mile course to the ocean. It took 70 minutes for the entire 12.4 billion gallons of water to drain out of the man-made reservoir that was supported by the dam. It ranks as one of the worst American civil engineering failures in the 20th century. Construction first started on the St. Francis Dam on March the 9th, 1925. It was named after the canyon that it was built in, San Francisco Canyon. The dam was finished one year later. It would take two years to fill the entire reservoir, creating a new lake behind the dam. The concrete arched gravity dam was built under the supervision of Chief Engineer William Mulholland. The dam was originally designed to be 175 feet tall and hold back a reservoir of 30,000 acre feet. However, immediately after construction began in 1925, Mulholland decided to raise the dam 10 feet and increase the capacity of the reservoir to 32,000 acre feet. In July 1925, when the dam was about halfway completed, Mulholland again decided to raise the dam another 10 feet to a total height of 195 feet. A wing dike had to be constructed on the western side of the dam to keep water from spilling over a low ridge when the reservoir is filled. You can see the wing dike at the left side of this photo. The St. Francis Dam was increased in height from the designed 175 feet to 195 feet at completion without any substantial widening at the dam space. What I'm walking along was once the wing dike. As you can see, there are still large chunks of concrete left behind. This path eventually ends at a steep cliff. In 1978, a plaque was placed commemorating the 1928 St. Francis Dam disaster. Unfortunately, the plaque was later stolen. The marker still stands today above a hill overlooking the dam site. Here is the old road that leads to the dam ruins. As you can see, it's been overgrown by trees. Here's your first glimpse of the dam ruins. You can see what once was the stair-looking appearance to the tombstone. The center portion of the dam was nicknamed the Tombstone. It's all that remains standing. The rest broke up into numerous smaller and several large pieces. Most were washed downstream. A few months after the dam's collapse, an 18-year-old named Lurcy Parker fell to his death while standing on the tombstone. His friend had thrown a dead rattlesnake at him, and he got startled and fell to his death. On May 1929, the remaining upright section of the dam was dynamited. It was destroyed to discourage sightseekers. Today, it's a popular hiking spot. Here you can see an entrance to a deep vertical shaft. I definitely want nothing to do with that. Well, there it is, the story of the St. Francis Dam disaster. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give us a like and to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.